All right, time now for Warm, Hot, and Fuego. Top plays, players, moments from the past week. And, Rhett, can I guess the theme? Yes. The, I know this week was the 25th anniversary of Happy Gilmore. Oh. So do we have a golf theme? I, or did, that's a great idea. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Price is I, wrong. I Matt. know. <laughs> Price is wrong. All right. Emily, what, actually, what is the theme? Emily told one? me it was National Acts of Kindness Week. I think she was fishing for like a compliment or something. <laughs> you didn't. You probably didn't yeah, give it, did you? No. Yeah, all right. Let's start yeah. with Warm Red. Yeah. Who's your pick for Warm? Daniela Rhodes, field yeah. hockey team, starting right where she left off a few years ago. You know, Big East freshman of the year, right? right. Comes into this season first game, two goals and assists, five points. And it's hard to believe, like when I look back at her, this wasn't like she was targeted by LU and brought in. It was like, hey, I've got a friend in South Africa that yeah. plays field hockey too. Is she any good? Yeah, she's pretty good. Comes here and she is an absolute stud. Goals 14 and 15 for her in that game. That's 14 and 15 goals in 19 games played. She has 40 points overall. And I think for Coach Nikki Parsley Blocker, it's like finding a gold brick in your backyard. You're just like, wow, look at the money I found. Uh, she has just been fantastic so far in her yeah. Young Flames career. She'll go down as a great. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. been fantastic. All right. From Warm Rhett, we turn to Hot. Who's your choice there? Volleyball, Julia Mangum. And she is just a – this is a freshman team. Like, this team is so full of freshmen. Yeah, young. We've talked about, you know, men's soccer and how they're so young and, and talented. Volleyball just like that. You've got Trini Watts, Burtz, and Mangum, a part of these three freshmen that are starting. They're going to be so, so good. Uh, Mangum – I think she's the soon to be stud. You know, she's young, still figuring things out. A Sun's pretty good at volleyball in the conference overall, but 12 kills Saturday, nine digs, four blocks. When you read that stat line, you know she can get it done in multiple aspects. It's not like she goes on the back line and they're pulling her out for a defensive specialist. She can stay back there and get it dug, done defensively. And she had her first double double as well on the Sunday game, and she was getting it done with 13 kills. So she's uh, one to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. Nicely done by her. All right. Finally, the top honor this week, Rhett, goes to who? It might be the best name in all of Liberty Athletics. It's really? Ali Kipchurcher. That is, that's tough to yeah, beat. It's a fantastic yep. name. And this guy in the 800 had a time. Listen to this. February 22nd, 1992. Yeah, where was I? Yeah, I where was, were uh, you? I was almost uh, seven years old. Right. Uh, probably playing with action figures somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This guy, Johnny Prettyman, ran a 150.7. You know what? I do recall that. Yeah, that said, no, went not. down, you know, it was all over the place. Yeah. Anyways, 29 years later, Ali Never broke 152 in his life, dropped a remarkable 150.52. Wow. Third best time in ace on history, breaking the Liberty record. So great yeah. job by Allie and nice work there on the cross country team. You know the sun's going to come out. You know Liberty cross country oh, yeah. is just going to attract a yeah. field. They're just going to wreck They're going to wreck it. Yeah. Great job as always.